Hello Collective, wherever you are. I hope your summer's safe. Summer's warm, surrounded by love, light, happiness, joy, abundance, and filled with so much faith. Real quick, can you do me a favor? Can you hit the like button, please? Please hit share if you like to share, and please hit subscribe and turn that notification bell on to all so you can always be updated whenever I put another message out there for you guys. And if you'd like to donate, you do not have to. It's not a requirement, but I just truly appreciate it. The info is in the description box down below. And thank you from the bottom of, but with all of my heart, ahead of time to anybody and everybody who chooses to do so, and to everybody who has been. Thank you, thank you, thank you. May God bless your beautiful souls tenfold. Um, and for the super thanks and the memberships and everything, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, may God bless your beautiful souls uh, tenfold. All right, yo, if you have a YouTube channel, guys, um, I don't know what's going on with this, alright? I don't know if it's Mercury Retrograde, or if it's just, you know, my channel being attacked, or whatever the fuck, and we have the fuck. Um, I don't know, you can fuck with me too much, but, um, just so you know, especially if you're somebody that likes to, to communicate back with your, your, um, subscribers and stuff, uh, I've been noticing the last couple of days, <laughs> I just saw your message, it's funny as fuck, um, <laughs> I went to, I went to go show you, because I just seen, um, <laughs> When you left me a message, <laughs> hold on one second. Let me just come. <laughs> one second, my bad, y'all. That shit was funny. Um, but for real, for real. All right, but yeah. Especially if you want to like, if you if you like to reach out to your subscribers, um, make sure like look, see, like I just I always check my message. I always check the comments, and whenever you get messages back or whatever, it is me. I don't have a anyone doing the um what do you call it for me like um a moderator or anything like that i don't have a moderator okay it's it's actually me messaging you back um but for instance okay so i'm glad i'm glad she just messaged me okay but uh so you can see i just reset my phone so don't mind if the notifications go off uh but see like how you know this is where like in the youtube studio it shows you like you know the like i just commented that's the message i was just saying i just didn't start laughing but um what do you call it you want to hit that X button, like, right here where it says, I haven't responded, um, and go in here, because I've been noticing a lot of the, a lot of the, like, I've been, there's been a lot that I have, haven't been getting a notif, like, notified for, and you just want to, like, double check, and then, like, look for them, you know what I mean, because, like, it shows you that you have, you hearted it, and you responded or not, if you did respond to the person, because I've been noticing a lot, and it's weird, because, um, Mike, a lot of yours have been, have been happening to you. You know, one uh, Mike. You know who you are. The um, one of my membership people. Um, a lot of yours for some reason, and that's one. Remember, you're saying how you didn't have like nobody was. It was. It's not just. It's it's somebody attacking our, our channel. I think, or it's Mercury retrograde. Okay, so Mike, don't give up, everybody. But um, it's it's happening. I don't know. It's just weird. So I don't know. I just want to let you know, just in case, like especially if you're somebody that does have a channel and you like to reach out to your, to you know your subscribers, um, yeah, just make sure you hit where it says the, you know, the um I haven't responded, okay? Because it, like, even when I hit that, like, so now I have it, and I go back and I go back into it, it'll go back to like where just like the ones that you haven't responded to yet. So guys, yeah, I always respond. Um, I at least heart it, even the karmic people that leave stupid comments. I heart your shit all the time too, just so you see that I'm aware of it and I just don't, I'm not feeding back into your bullshit. I'm not giving you my energy. But um, so if I, if you like comment and I didn't get a heart, like don't take offense to it, okay? Um, because it just hasn't been doing that. But I, I double check it too. I've been double checking it. I, for a couple of days I didn't, I forgot to double check it. But I've been noticing a lot that it, like i don't know what's going on with that so i apologize if like i didn't like you know i might not be able to actually respond respond to everybody because i get so many comments on every um message you know what i mean but i at least heart it though okay uh i even heart the karmic ones like even like the people that are talking shit to me <laughs> i even heart them <laughs> but uh so especially if you're not a karmic person like you know and if I don't re actually respond, respond to you and you're not a karmic person, it's not that, you know, I think you're karmic. It's just that there's just way too many and I'm always doing readings for you guys. You know what I mean? So, um, I just don't have the time to, to be able to, to respond to everybody all the time. I mean, but I do whenever I can, you know what I mean? So I, I mean, every day I respond to people multiple times a day, but just, just, you know, sometimes I don't have the, the chance to, but I at least hard it. So if it doesn't get hard it at least, then I apologize. Like, you know, it might take me a day or two because I'll find it in there. And I don't know if there's even more that's coming not even onto there. Um, 
but I don't know what's going on with that. So I just want to let you guys know if you do have a platform, if you'd like to get back, like, you know, like reach back to your, your subscribers um, to do that because you might be missing messages, all right? I mean, that's weird too, because you especially think that your membership people, um, it would definitely show you to your membership people, you know what I mean? And Mike, I noticed that's why, like, you've probably seen, I, like, it took me, like, a day or two to respond to you because a lot of, a lot of your messages, Mike, I, it wasn't showing, which is crazy. And once I noticed that, like, that one when you were telling me how you didn't get, like, there, that nobody was, it's not, uh, it's somebody attacking our, our platform is what it is. So just plead the blood of Jesus over your platform, okay? And... Um, even if you don't have a platform, you know, if you have social media, whatever you do, or whatever you do for work, um, plead the blood of Jesus over it and continue to pray over it right, and protect it. Because somebody's definitely, especially if you're out here, like, you speaking the truth, you know what I mean? And if you're giving guidance and stuff, people don't like that. To, you know, the enemy doesn't like that. So, of course, they'll be attacking us. But they, you know, just like the stupid-ass karma people, they be hating on us. They hate our gifts and stuff. Um, they want our gifts, but they would not be able to handle our gifts. They don't know what all comes along with our gifts, okay? Our vessel is, like, also, like, you know what I mean? They don't know about what we have to go through. The pains, like, physical pains we have to go to to get a message, to deliver a message. Like, our body is, our, like, our, you know, our vessel is, you know, like, when I'm saying something about pains and stuff, like, oh, somebody could be having, like, an ache here, ache there. It's because um, spirit put, gives me the pain in that certain place so that I could, I would know. But once I identify it and I realize what's going on and I deliver the message, it goes away. But, like, it'll keep coming back until I identify it. And I, this way, it's like Spirit's way of letting me know, like, oh, this is what you need to say. This is what you need to do. Um, this is like part of the message. They wouldn't be able to, let alone put in the, the, with the target that's on our back because, you know, we're exposing the truth. So people will be attacking us, you know what I mean? You just want to be able to handle it. You, and plus, especially if you're a visionary, like, they wouldn't be able to deal with the visions that we get. Like, are you fucking crazy? They would not be able to. They're weak. They would not be able to. So before you out here trying to like wish you had somebody and attacking somebody because you're jealous and envious of them, um, like you wouldn't even be able to handle it, you fucking losers. So sit down. Sit down, you little get back in your place. <laughs> oh, and somebody's um and I bothered that guys. After that reading earlier, man, that shit had me like, what? I had to I had to take it down for a little bit. That last one about the um eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth message. I had to I had to meditate and then I took a little nap too to you know to get some sort of downloads too. Somebody's animal's name, like I maybe their cat or their dog could be um their their cat's name or, or their animal's name could be cat or I mean cat. What the fuck? <laughs> Somebody could could be, you know, C O T or cat or dog, D O G. I used to have a dog named D O G. His name was literally D O G, like how you spell dog. <laughs> but um no, I meant to say um socks or boots or something like that. Or mittens or something like that. Or mitten or something like that. Mittens. Alright, yeah. Somebody, there's people losing out on opportunities. We have um, the four of cups and the five of cups. 45 or 54 could be significant. There's um, people in grief, pain, sorrow, agony because they're losing out on opportunities. They realize, you know, that you're their gift from God and they fucked up. Um, oh, yeah. Somebody's in a major remorse. I just got like a, a feeling of like major depression remorse like somebody's heart just dropped to their stomach they realize you're all into their bitch asses and if they can't stop you they can't block you you're too protected because you're the high priestess or grief pains or agony about your gifts your the, your abilities you're a spiritual leader you're extremely gifted um somebody also oh no it's the five of cups yeah okay so i was thinking it was still the four of cups um yeah they're in grief, pains, or agony about your gifts, about how, like, how tapped in you are, what you know, how you know it, um, uh, what you're going to do with the knowledge that you have and wisdom that you have. All I can say is sit the fuck down and don't worry about the collective. <laughs> Get back in your motherfucking lane, bitch. <laughs> oh, guys, um, uh, don't forget, all right, Intuitive Kev. Go check out his channel. Subscribe to Intuitive Kev and Fire Sign Intuitive. All right, um, he has his he he his um tarot deck. Okay, 
I'm so excited to get this. I cannot. I'm so excited. I can um to get his deck. I've been ever since like I very first came across his channel and I I seen his cards. I was like, oh, what cards are they? I want those cards. And then like I, after watching for a little bit, then he was saying how he did, he made them, and I was I was like, <laughs> email him. I was like, yeah, get them cards out. I want that deck. <laughs> and he did. He got them out. So hurry up and go go get them. All right. He has an Etsy shop. Go onto his channel. Um, Intuitive Kev or Fire Sign Intuitive. He has two channels. The Fire Sign Intuitive is his um, is his zodiac sign, um, you know, zodiac uh, channel. But you go on there and you hit more, and you know where it says like in the description box, hit more, and then you can find his Etsy shop. Go buy them before they're sold out. And then also too, you want to get them now because you'll get one of his original decks. You know what I mean? This is like his first batch of decks, so you'll actually have one of his original, very first batch of his his deck. You know what I mean? And thank you again, Kev. I absolutely love you, and I'm so excited to get this deck and be one of the original ones too. <laughs> so go ahead, go get them before they're sold out. Okay? Yeah, someone's getting a message, or you could be getting a message. Um, you might be getting a message, like you might want to go, you know, uh, meditate a little bit or something. Or they're getting the message, they're watching you, they're seeing that you are definitely one million percent, um, you know, a spiritual leader, and you're extremely, extremely gifted. You might also be getting a message from your ancestors, um, whatever, however you get your messages. You know what I mean? But yeah, intuitive Kev, okay. Go, go on his channel, subscribe, 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 and to his, uh, what do you call it, his fire sign intuitive too, he's amazing, he's, you know, one of my favorite, I absolutely love Kev, he's such a beautiful soul, like, he's such an amazing person, go, um, and he also sells, uh, bracelets, like, protection bracelets, um, his you know bath salt stuff you know what i mean for for i always like feel weird saying that because like you know people like pervert it into something like negative because um you know like the drug thing it's not that you know what i'm talking about the bathtub like the, for protection um and you can even read his reviews they're all amazing reviews all right he's he's such an amazing person um and he's extremely talented extremely gifted go check him out all right and subscribe to his channels and um what do you call it but you might want to get especially if you're a reader you might want to get one of his decks now and get one of the original because it's the first batch he has okay <laughs> what <laughs> i just heard <laughs> Kev. <laughs> like, <laughs> i just heard <laughs> like somebody joking around like <laughs> I don't know if that's on his ancestors or something. Maybe that, that used to like do that to joke with him, like but, you know, exaggerating the name, like Kev. Like, <laughs> that was cute. Oh, that was cute. <laughs> my heart just got really warm when I said that too. I don't. Know. That could be either his one of his ancestors that used to like joke around with him and say that, or maybe your name's Kev and you had an ancestor that used to joke around and like like exaggerate like you know what I mean or a loved one that would, like you know how they that I don't even I don't even I can't even say it right but you, I mean you'll know what I'm talking about if it's for you <laughs> you'll know what I'm talking about that was cute. All right, and nine of pentacles. Your single self sufficient, independent. Well, actually, it was on the fence. It's telling me you're on your way there. It's in transit, okay? You're, it's in transit. It's on its way, all right? I mean, you already could be, or you're about to be even more so. I don't know. <laughs> that was so cute. 622, guys. Ultimate wish fulfillment, and we have 9-9. Nine, nine. You're getting your ultimate wish fulfillment. Whatever you're doing, whatever you're working on, it's going to bring you mate <gasps> oh lord jesus <laughs> it's gonna make bring you major success and abundance okay um and you're like way better than you could possibly ever imagine okay it's gonna be very prosperous all right keep showing up it's on its way it's coming in yeah ace of swords one million percent truth and clarity too you're getting some sort of one million percent ace of truth and clarity about um and people are seeing that you are one million percent ace of swords truth and clarity too somebody might be wanting to gift you flowers somebody that you walked away from then one million percent ace of truth and clarity has come out about these people from your past these people that you walked away from they're under judgment it's a painful permanent ending damn it's, <laughs> Jesus. it's a painful permanent ending to somebody these people in the past are under heavy judgment somebody might be literally passing away i'm strongly feeling that somebody might be dying from a heart attack or something 
something to do with somebody's heart. A fight could have broke out, or this could be blood. A fight could have broke out, somebody could have punched a window out or something and got blood all over them. Because I just got a vision of my stepbrother Peanut. I remember he got, I think he got like punched the window out or something like that. And I just I just got a picture, uh, like in my third eye, of his arm. And he, I think yeah, he punched the window out. And he, like his arm was cut open like big, like big, like a huge, it was gross. Um, with a bunch of blood everywhere. So when I just seen that ten of swords. First, I seen the heart in there, and then I was looking at this as like broken glass and a, a picture of my cousin. I mean, my cousin, my stepbrother. Jesus Lord, my stepbrother Peanut, um, of like you know, of his arm. Somebody could have punched the window out. A fight could have broke out, or someone could have I don't know, broke like some glass, and somebody could have shattered like a mug over somebody's head. I don't know, some shit like this. Something like that's happening. Holy Spirit. Somebody's trying to block your ultimate wish. I mean, your, um, you being single, self sufficient, and independent. That's not happening now. And you need to cut somebody off, okay? You might want to do another cord cutting. There might be a choice that you need to make, a decision that you need to, that needs to be made with the Two of Swords as well. Somebody's trying to block your. Oh, here, let me guide. So, you, I know that's probably loud as shit. I just realized that. I forgot I had this bracelet on. My bad, y'all. Um, it's like all make, like, you know, it's a bunch of little crystals on here. And I just realized how loud that is, especially with the microphone. Um, my bad. <laughs> I was like, damn, that's loud as fuck. It's probably really loud for you guys. My bad. But somebody's trying to block you, okay? You might need to cut somebody off. They're trying to block your finances. You being single, self sufficient, independent. Um, it's not going to happen now, okay? Yeah. Because whatever you went through with this nine of wands here, whatever, like, battles you went through, you went through a lot. You went through a real lot. And you still made it through. And because you did, look at this. It's like a horseshoe, right? Don't that look like a horseshoe? The eyeballs? You made it through these battles. And since you did, you know, with the nine of wands, since you made it through all these battles, um, you know, you're still in the upright. You're still doing, you know, everything out of love. Um you know, out of, you know, God energy, which is love, um, you know, you, you got all, you got a lot of eyes on you too, a lot, well, because you're doing everything in the upright still, and you made it through everything, all the burdens, everything, um, still in the upright, still managed to pick yourself back up, you know, and rebuild yourself bigger and better, um, and you're still doing everything, you know, in the upright, it, you're going to have this good luck and fortune, okay, it's coming in. Do just be mindful. Somebody is trying to block you and block your your finances and you being single, self sufficient, independent. So you might want to do a um. Uh, what do you call it? You might want to um, cleanse your sacral chakra one. Uh, and your 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 um do like a money blockage removal. Sorry guys, <laughs> ninety two could be significant, but. Um, you might, that could be somebody's, you know, a year somebody was born. I hope nobody's in there doing fucking 92 years old trying to block you. You know, I'll be crazy. <laughs> like, Greg, Greg, Randy, sit down, please. <laughs> Poppy, sit down. <laughs> Quit playing. <laughs> someone's nickname could be Poppy. Or someone's name could be Poppy. But, um, but I know, I think it's like maybe a year somebody was born. Or, like, it could be an address. Somebody's address could be 92. Someone's house number could be 92 or something like that. And we have nine here. Nine, nine, twenty-nine could be someone's, um, somebody's uh, address. Sorry, guys, I just had to sip my drink. No, Jesus. <laughs> I'm just saying, your message again. <laughs> you said I got weapons of. I forget what you said. That shit was funny as fuck. <laughs> For real though, you know what I mean. What these motherfuckers play, they're gonna learn the hard way. You know what I mean. That last read had me fucked up. I was like, hell no. Yeah, you might be healing or someone's doing black magic is what this is. It's telling you to do white magic, which people consider prayer to be white magic. Okay, I'm not saying like, you know, people that are like, oh, magic, magic, no. No, prayer is magic, okay? Somebody's doing black magic, okay? This is, this is what's telling me. You might have to heal from something too. You might have to cut some cords and you might need to heal. Um, there's some sort of healing that needs to happen or you did or you're still healing or somebody's still healing. There's something definitely about blood. Or something, something, it might be your, your blood, okay? Your flesh and blood trying to block you. 
the fuck? Which is crazy because you would think like, you know, you being a divine being and it's your own family, the flesh and blood, somebody could be doing blood mat, um, blood, uh, blood rituals. Uh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. They could be doing black magic because it's on the fence. They could be doing black magic, all right? And you're being told to do white magic, which is prayer, you know what I mean? Um, and whatever else, you know, if you do uh, if you do other white magic, whatever you do, you know what I mean? Everything, prayer is magic, okay? It's, it's considered white magic, all right? Um, you know, people talking shit about somebody, talking ill upon somebody, that's part, that's a form of black magic. You're Because you're manipulating the way other people view somebody by lies. That is a form of black magic. Okay, so for people who are like, oh, and they, they think of like, oh, like, oh, no, magic's not real. Yes, the fuck it is for one. Okay, it definitely is. Um, it definitely is. A lot of them that say that, though, they know it's very much so real. And they they try to, like, make you look crazy and shit. But even, like, talking shit about somebody and lying on somebody, okay, to get other people to view this person in a different light um, is a form of, you know, is a form of black magic. It's a, it's a lower vibrational, um, you know, way you're manipulating the way other people view somebody. You see what I'm saying? But I'm strongly getting it could be possibly be, be your own flesh and blood that's trying to block your finances, which is crazy because you're a divine being. Because, you know, my readings are for the collective, right? It's for God's people. Now, yeah, call me McCormick since be watching my channel more than fucking, you know, anything, as you can see, fucking losers. But whatever, they just watch and they talk their shit, but yet they're, they're, they faithfully watch my channel. Um, it is and other and other readers from um, channels too talking their bullshit looking like a whole idiot just collecting more karma um but they watch because they know that we're speaking the truth and they want to see what's about to happen to them and what's happening they were trying to see if their magic they're doing is affecting us when it's not like wake up motherfuckers take your dumbass glasses off and really see that anytime you attack any of us it, it just makes us stronger it makes us bigger it doesn't affect us it goes right back to your bitch asses and that's why you're going through bad karma that's why bad things are happening it's not not a coincidence okay it's it's what's happening wake up by all means continue keep watching keep hating keep talking shit i don't give a fuck because it's not affecting me all right i don't give a fuck it doesn't affect me okay um <laughs> it, it's affecting you all right and you're attacking my work not smart because you're not attacking me you're attacking god i'm here in my purpose doing what god sent me here to do so when you attack my work you're attacking god not smart you're being told to pray, to wait, you know, or what, whatever, you know what I mean? To whatever you're, you, whatever you do. All right, Clyde just verified that. Thank you, bubby. Hold on. A Clyde, the Clyde Meister wanted to come in the house. <laughs> come in the building. <laughs> come in the house. I mean, in the room. <laughs> He's always in the house. Hold on a second. I'm coming, baby. Hold on. All right, sorry. I had to let Clyde in. I told Clyde, I said, you're going to come say hi to your fans. Your, your fans miss you. And he looked over at me and winked. That's him saying that he loves you. Oh, buddy. You want to go straight now, buddy? <laughs> Get him, Clyde. Get him. Hi, handsome. What are you doing, baby boy? But yeah, just be mindful. Somebody in your, like, uh, um, I feel like it could be your own family, your own flesh and blood. What are you doing, buddy? Yeah, you're getting passionate in your beginnings, okay? Somebody's trying to do black magic on it. It's not working, though. It's on the fence. It's telling me that they're trying to do some low vibrational bullshit, some some black magic. It's not working, though. Or they're trying to block your finances and your passionate in your beginnings. They're also watching you, eyes all peeled open, looking like, what the fuck? And, you know, realizing that their magic's not working. It's not It's not even in the reverse. Like, you know, even though they're doing it, it's because it's going right back to them. Watch the candle, baby boy. What? What, honey? It's not a blanket. It's my skirt, babe. <laughs> You're getting good luck in for Jim because Clyde's coming in. Whenever Kitty's coming, she has good luck. But hi, babe. What are you doing, handsome man? You can go up there. You can go watch the birdies. You in a bird watch? He likes to sit on the windowsill and watch the birds. Yeah, so just continue to pray. Pray for your animals as well, okay? Especially with that last reading, guys. Always pray for your animals. Hold on, let me let Clyde back. <laughs> let me Clyde. Clyde just wanted to come in and say hi. Now he wants to go back out. Hold on. Uh, you know what's crazy? I don't know if you heard, heard my notification right before I hit pause to let Clyde out. And I looked down to see what that notification was. And remember, I was just saying about prayer, right? And it was something about Joe Budden. My favorite song by Joe Budden, right, is Pray For Me. Um, 
by Joe Budden. That's why I actually have it to pray for me at home. I mean, I'm like, all my hands was like inspired by that song. Such an amazing song. But um, I have all my hands. Here. So when you put your hands together like you're praying, it says pray for me. But somebody might want you to pray for them. I was just a notification on Facebook saying that Joe Budden um, posted something new. But yeah, but like instantly when I seen that, it's you know I thought if once I seen Joe Budden, um, somebody's name could be Joe. Somebody of flesh and blood might be wanting you to pray for them because they know that whatever they sent to you is went back to them. As if you've never heard that song, y'all, that song is my favorite song by Joe Budden. It's such an amazing song. It's like seriously, that song is like you listen today and it will give you the chills. But you're getting passionate in your beginnings, yeah, because they're trying to they're trying to block you and your finances. Oh, and it it was blocked. Their black magic was blocked. It went right back to them, and they just blocked their finances, their health, their whatever, whatever they were trying to stop. Their passion in the beginnings cut the fuck down. And now their eyes are all peeled, like what? What do you mean? I'm not stuck in the collective. What do you mean? Somebody wants you to pray for them. That song, I have that song in my head now. <laughs> Somebody's attacking your third eye. Without a doubt, look all this purple out here. Alright. So there's this one, this one, and this one. Somebody's not sorry for this black magic they did. Somebody in your flesh and fucking blood is not sorry. They're very childish. It could have been a child doing it. It could be your own fucking child doing it to you. Or saw like a niece, nephew, cousin, I don't know. You're fucking kidding me. Five of Pentacles are kicked out. They, they left out anybody that worked with them to come up against. Like, you know, you're getting somebody that's going to be working with you. It's going to help you also bring put you into this nine of pentacles energy possibly or maybe you are or maybe someone somebody might be losing you might be firing somebody you might find out somebody was doing some bullshit somebody acting childish maybe you have a business and you work with your child maybe you have a child working for you or something it doesn't even have to be a child maybe you have a family member that are trying to block they're jealous and envious of you and your your you being single self-sufficient independent they are trying to block your block this for you because they're hating on you they're not sorry at all but yet they want you to pray for them because they know what they sent to you and it's coming back to them. Cords need to be cut, homie. Yeah. Whatever's happening, whatever you're doing, you might be like working with somebody. Somebody might be, look, someone's definitely attacking your third eye without a doubt. All this purple out here. Um, okay, then possibly your crown chakra too, okay? Uh, they don't want you getting the downloads that you get, you know, they're trying to block that. They don't want you to know that it's them doing it to you. Oh, ridiculous, man. Look, AA. Somebody's indul indulging in drugs and alcohol. Somebody could be recovering. You're getting this passionate, new, uh, passionate beginnings in, in finances. And you're about to be very abundant in whatever you're doing. Somebody might be working with you to help you bring this, you know, Ace of Pentacles in. And this Ace of Cups in, it might even be, your cup's going to be overflowing with love. Because whatever you're doing for work too, you're doing it 1 million percent authentic, true to yourself, to others, and most importantly, to God. Alright, you're very faithful, you're very honest, you're very loyal. You're 1 million percent like Ace of Swords, you know, I thought it was out here. Ace of Swords truth, you know. Somebody is definitely, um... Maybe you're in recovery, or uh, somebody could be over needs to go into recovery, like a karmic person that's been attacking you. Somebody's drinking. Your child might be drinking. You might want to keep an eye on it if you're if they're underage. You know what I mean? Yeah. And all you have many opportunities coming your way. Your cup's going to be overflowing with love, you, and somebody's going to work with you too. Possibly you might be teaming up with somebody or this could even be just like a platform. Maybe you're starting it. You just started a platform. You know what I mean? Um, and you know your your partners with, with YouTube or another platform or whatever it is. You know what I mean? But it's going to bring you whatever this is, is abundance Major abundance, okay, or somebody's going to work with you to help you get something that was already yours possibly that was stolen from you <laughs> something like that Maybe somebody that was attacking you before, maybe they don't want to attack you anymore because they realize that you're too protected and it keeps getting blocked.
So now they might want to try to work with you, but they're not sorry at all. Not at all. Not even a little bit. They might be like, oh, well, I can't beat them. Let's join them. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that for you because they're going to try and get your shit to go under. They're still jealous and envious. They're not sorry. Ninety-three could be significant. Fifty-three can be significant. Someone's initial can begin with a U or an I or an H and an I, because that looks like a U right here. U and I. We're like diamonds in the sky. Shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. You're shining bright like a diamond and they're hating on that. They realize how powerful you fucking are. Somebody in power might be wanting to work with you. heard youth youth to be a child something about a child here another try look page another page you're gonna get a message for somebody that wants to work with you okay they're gonna tell you about how somebody was trying to block you stop you or you're gonna get a message to cut somebody off to cut a cord <laughs> because somebody's like doing black magic on you and they're not sorry about what they did a message about somebody getting locked the fuck up Yeah, someone's getting locked up, okay? Because here's the chariot to the, the knight of pentacles, I'm um, the knight of swords, I'm sorry. Somebody coming in, the authorities coming in fiercely, ready to, to lock, to come and lock somebody up. Cause that, that is an earth angel and you're an earth angel, okay, too. About all the lies, the betrayals, yeah, of this, this inheritance. And these people and this devilish energy that are obsessed with stopping you, blocking you, what they stole from you, they stole this inheritance from you. They cast a lot of illusions. It's somebody that came in with this ace of cups, like, but it was a it was a false ass cup of love. It was um a cup of poison. Somebody you really had a lot of love for. All the lies or some sort of hidden inheritance that you don't know about. Or maybe you're finally discover it. Somebody's coming in to work with you to tell you about this. You have a solid love offer coming in. It could be your divine counterpart. Somebody could be doing magic on that too. Somebody's doing some sort of black magic. They don't want you. Yeah, they don't want you to. This could definitely be a child. You know how like children, they don't. They don't want your. Um, yeah, they're smiling in your face, stabbing you in the back. You could be with somebody now that's smiling in your face, stabbing you in the back. Or they're going to come in and tell you about people that were smiling in your face, stabbing you in the back, possibly you're in flesh and fucking blood. And some 